Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into how Stripe uses idempotent APIs to prevent double payments. If you're into tech, fintech, or just curious about how online payments stay secure, this one's for you. Let's get started. First things first, let's talk about idempotency. In the context of APIs, an idempotent operation is one that can be performed multiple times without changing the result beyond the initial application. Now, let's understand the problem of double payments. Imagine a customer clicks pay now twice due to a network lag or a slow response. Without a safeguard, this could result in multiple charges for the same transaction. This is where idempotency comes to the rescue. When you initiate a payment, the client generates a unique idempotency key. This key is included in the payment request to Stripe. Think of this key as a unique identifier for your payment attempt. Here's how it works in practice. First, when you start a payment, a unique key is generated. Second, this key is sent with your payment request to Stripe. Third, Stripe checks if it has seen this key before. If it's the first time, Stripe processes the payment and stores the result with the key. If it's a duplicate, Stripe returns the stored result without processing the payment again. So, how do you implement this in your code? It's simpler than you might think. When the user initiates a payment, generate an idempotency key and store it. Use this key for any retries. By ensuring the same key is used for retries, you can leverage Stripe's idempotent API to prevent double payments. And that's it. With idempotency keys, you can keep your transactions safe and prevent double payments. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech insights. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.